So here's a program that I have done earlier using repetition, iteration, and so forth. So let me just explain what is happening first. We have our forever loop, which keeps this going eternally. We have our x position one and x position two. X position one is for the first row, and x position two is for this row here, which is two. Now what we're saying is four times we want the light to go on and move up and down. But let me just explain how it's happening. First, we are plotting this light, which will be zero to begin with, and we are plotting it at zero on row two. We are pausing for one second, and we are going to unplot it so that the light comes off the screen. Then we are changing this variable by one. And what that means is it increases it by one, and the next time around, when it does the repeat, it's going to put this in the next position. So it's obviously gone from 0 to 1. And then we have the same happening here when it goes backwards. Now, what I'm going to show you is how you can create a simple LED that moves up the screen. So what I'm going to need is I'm going to need to choose the position of a light to appear on the screen. But first I'm going to create a number of new variables. So if I duplicate this, this one is called, so let's create a new variable called light position x and new variable light position y. Now to begin with I want my program to start at y position 2. So I'm going to go to maths and my y position is actually 4. So if you look y4, uh, my y position is going to be 4 and my position x is going to be 2. Now if I run this you will see when I go to LED and plot that light, I can say use that variable light position x, variables light position y. And if I run this program again from the beginning, you can see there is my first light. Now what I'm going to say is if I press A and B, I want that to go up the screen. So I'm going to go to basics and I'm going to look at input and say, when I press A and B, I want to unplot, so we're going to go to LED, and unplot light position X, and we are going to go to use light position Y, then we are going to add we are going to subtract one from y because if you look y is 4 and we need to go down to 3 so i'm going to go to change light position y by minus 1 and then i need to plot it on the screen again so i can just duplicate this so let's run it and i can go there and there we go. That goes up the screen. Now what I can also say, because uh, you can see that it's unplotted that originally there, is I can actually put a condition in that says if, I'm going to put that in another forever loop so it's always looking for it, if, and we're going to do maths, we're going to use logic, so I'm going to say if and we're going to check whether, again in logic, if light position x, so let's use that, light position x equals 2 and we need to check whether light position, so again logic, light position y light position y is equal to zero. So at this point we're saying if light position x is equal to two, 
and light position y is equal to zero, you've won the game because you've made it to the top. So we can say here, you win. So let's run this game and see what happens. So I'm going up the screen and I've, there you go, I've won the game. So that's a simple crossy roads game. Now, for those of you wanting to extend yourself, what I would suggest you do is maybe check a forever loop that checks if light position X is equal to the same position as the X position of one of these lights, because if it is, you can say that you have died. So you can extend yourself just by duplicating this as so, and you can say, if I, let me zoom out of that, change that to, to light position X, to X position one, and y is equal to 2, I can experiment with saying game over because I can show when a collision has happened. So have a play with that. See if you can create a simple game of crossy roads.